Hi, I'm Caden Barkermeyer, and this is a story I wrote called Matching. 1984. I was four, and I had just learned to write my own name. Because it was Christmas, I got to help my mom write my name on the two from tags. Terry, I would write, ever so carefully and ever so slowly to ensure it was legible. At least for a four-year-old. It was the only word I knew to read. I was learning in preschool how to spell, but could only read my name. One day, a day that had that Christmas Eve excitement, my mom and I found ourselves at the department store where she worked for some last-minute gift shopping. I always liked to go to the store, because I got to push the kid cart, and it felt very adult-like. As we entered the store, there was a little Christmas tree with little name tags on it, just to the right of the entrance. There I saw it. Terry! I was so excited. I asked my mom what it was and why my name was on the little Christmas tree. She said that it was Christmas lists that seniors from one of the homes in town made. You pick a card and you get them gifts off their Christmas list. Can I get gifts for Terry? I asked, overloaded with excitement. I'd only met one other Terry in my life, some kid whose mom was yelling at him at some restaurant. She agreed, picking Terry's name tag off the little Christmas tree. She read his list to me. It was quite short compared to mine that year, but it read, Chocolate. Robe. Book. I closed my eyes. Hard. Memorizing each item on the list and set off to find them. Looking back on it now, it's strange my mom let a four-year-old roam the store alone, but everyone knew me there because my mom often had to bring me to her work. Chocolate, I recited as I entered the snack aisle. I scanned my head like a robot, checking all my options. At the end of the aisle, there were orange foil balls, and in orange letters, read Terry. I had one before. They were chocolate oranges, and I liked smacking them on the floor to break them. One for Terry and one for Terry, I said, loading two into the cart. I already knew where the robes would be, the men's section, so I hauled my tush over there. I once got to help my mom hang the gaunch and socks on the rack. She said her back hurt, and I was the perfect height. It made me feel very adult-like. The display was set up with two mannequins, a man and a boy, wearing matching Christmas robes. And on a sticker it said, Terry, with words and numbers I hadn't learned yet. I took off my coat and tried the robe the boy mannequin was wearing. A perfect fit. I loaded into the cart, along with the robe the man mannequin was wearing. One for Terry and one for Terry, I shrugged leaving the two butt-naked mannequins behind me. I knew nothing about books, especially for an old guy. I paced a section of books and had one with a pretty lady on the front. I mean, my grandpa likes pretty ladies, so perfect. I loaded into the cart, but as I was beginning to walk to find my mom, I saw a book with the name Terry on it. I recognized the cover and remembered Miss Warren reading it to us. Fairy tales, it was called. I loaded two into the cart. One for Terry and one for Terry, I said, and took off to find my mom. Two Terry's chocolate oranges, two Terry cloth Christmas robes, and two copies of fairy tales, my mom said, searching my cart. Bye, Terry. I added, nodding my head. She handed me some amount of dollar bills, and I went to the cashier. Hello, Helen. These are gifts for my new friend, Terry. Same name as mine. I said nonchalant and coolly. Wow, Terry. And you got yourself the same gifts? Helen said, wrapping one of each item in decorative paper. Of course. Me and Terry are matching. I gave Helen the money my mom gave me, and it felt very adult-like. Do you want to sign it? Helen handed me a pen and two stickers. 
I wrote Terry in both spaces, which looked hilarious because it looked like I was getting myself a gift. The second sticker, I wrote Terry in both spaces, and it was even more hilarious because I did get a gift for myself. Helen then wrote my house phone number on the one for Terry, saying he'll probably want to call me and thank me for the thoughtful gift. Helen took Terry's gift to the back and gave me mine. When we got home, my mom had me set under the tree, and then I was off to bed. I was so excited, but forced myself to sleep so I could talk to Terry. Merry Christmas, Terry, my mom whispered. Someone's on the phone for you. And like a bullet, I shot downstairs, grabbing my gift, running into the kitchen. Merry Christmas, Terry, I shouted. Merry Christmas, Terry, a gentle voice answered. Thank you so much for the gift. It's exactly what I asked for. I know, Terry. Hold on. I got us matching. It must have been so loud as I tore the paper open with the phone hanging on the cord beside me. I put on my robe and smacked my chocolate on the ground and opened it. Is your robe on? Yes, it sure is, he replied. Did you uh, crack your chocolate on the ground like this? I pounded my fist on the ground as if he could see me. Yes, I sure did. Okay. Terry, do you want to read the book to me? Can you read yet? Just my name. Oh, okay. Yes, I sure will. Will you look at the pictures? That's my favorite part, Terry. Mine too, the old man said. Then he read to me while I looked at the pictures. We ate our chocolate, sitting in our comfy matching robes, and I had the most wonderful phone call with my new friend Terry.